People have said that your priorities change and you become, you get a second lease of life. To be really honest, I don't feel any different. I still have my mortgage to pay. I still stress about paying bills. Um, I try to be less worrisome about paying those bills and I think, heck, I've still got to pay them. So I don't know about this priority thing, really. Maybe I don't wait as long to go out and buy a new pair of shoes. You, you are still basically the same person, but things that in the past perhaps you took for granted uh, are no longer uh, in that category. I think you do have a yearning to perhaps do more, take a few more risks. Uh, I kept saying, oh, you know, one day I'm going to take that long service and we'll go on a trip. But it was always, oh, well, you know, finances, oh, this, that, and no, not anymore. Want to do it, you do it. <laughs> I don't like to be looked at as the breast cancer sufferer. There are days where I don't think of it, I'm busy, and I don't think of it at all, I feel normal. I yell and scream and carry on as I did before, which sometimes I think, good, then, you know, I haven't changed. Um, and there are times where I'll be driving home from work and I'll think of about last year and what happened and I'll have a little cry because it was horrible <laughs> and it did happen and I almost feel as though I'm going through it now. Last year I was too busy, this year I'm thinking about it a lot more. I think a lot of the grief that I felt once I finished was grief about um, my changed lifestyle, grief about my body image, yeah, things like that. Grief about um, changed friendships. Some of my um, some some people who I thought would be really good friends um, really backed off. Where others I found were um, very supportive, um, yeah, and, and anger that it happened to me. You know, anger that I've always looked after my body, I've always been healthy, I've always done sport, I've never smoked and all those sorts of 